Hello friends, welcome to Physics with Ben. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share this video. We have come today to have an overview of question number 2, WIAC Practicals 2023. You will love to click in the description box below to see the overview for question number three, current electricity, and also question number one, mechanics. As teachers and students, what do we expect on the D day of this question? Don't forget this video is on physics alternative A not alternative B. So this is optics. Uh, a disclaimer once again, this is not your WIAC exam, but how it may look like, a prediction of how it may look like on the D-Day. Having looked at the apparatus the examiners ask us to provide, I we have sat together as teachers and we have come to this conclusion that this, these three possible experiments will be performed, may be performed on the DD. Either one of them or two of them. Either uh, this or this or this. So what do you need to know as a teacher or as a student? Let's start with this one first. For this particular experiment, it is uh, it's an, an experiment on optics, meaning light. Optics deals with reflection and refraction of light. There are five properties of light, but these two properties are the most discussed in optics. Reflection and refraction. I have done a full video on reflection of light, total internal reflection. I also done a full video on the refraction of light at all of these surfaces, rectangular glass block, triangular glass prism. I have done refraction of light through by convex and by concave lens. I have done reflection of light on plane mirror surfaces and curved mirror surfaces. So you may love to click in the description box of this short video you are watching and get all the knowledge set for optics on the D-Day. You may love to know that for you to go into any exam, these are the spotlights you must pay attention to. Number one, you must master the theory of the experiments, the calculations in the experiments, the graph and everything. It is in light to this that I invite you to click in the description box below and watch those theories. So I have come to you not to do serious experiments but to tell you what you will expect. Let's look at this guy before, before, you, before all of us here. And you are to combine the plane mirror and the triangular glass prism. Meaning uh, the light is supposed to refract, but because of this plane mirror, the light will reflect. And this is the principle of total internal reflection. So as a wise teacher and as a wise student, you prepare yourself in this line. What is total internal reflection? Examiners may ask you questions around that area. They may ask you to explain or to calculate uh, uh, something under total internal reflection. And this equation, uh, refractive index equation 1 over sin c, is the equation for total internal reflection. And for this particular guy, the equation to find the refractive index is given as this. What you see here. Uh, this is where, where A stands for the size of the angle. This is a collateral triangle, 60, 60, 60. That's the meaning of the A. And the DM stands for the angle of minimum deviation. And so you check that and then you find it. So refractive index of glasses ranges from 1.5 to 
So they were asked you to state the conditions uh, for total internal reflection to take place. There are two main conditions. The, the incident angle must be greater than the critical angle. Uh, the critical angle of glass is as around 48 something, depending on the type of glass you are using. They must state conditions uh, responsible uh, for total internal reflection. Number one, the critical angle must be, I mean, sorry, the, the incident angle, which is this, must be greater than the critical angle. Number two, the ray of light must be traveling from an optically more dense media to an optically less dense media. These are the two conditions for you to have for total internal reflection will take place. So for this particular experiment, I have already done a video on how to find the refractive index of rectangular glass prism. You will see it in the description. So I would love to invite you to look for white class questions that have to do with a scale way to combine the plane mirror and this guy. You will also look at the properties of the images formed by plane mirror. Questions like uh, when two plane mirrors are inclined at an angle, calculate the number of images formed. These are the things that we have to look at here. Lastly, examiners may ask you to state precautions that you use, uh, that you consider for getting accurate results. For this guy, you make use of the protractor and the ruler. You, you tell the examiners that I avoided error due to parallax when taking reading on the protractor. Remember that error due to parallax are error due to the usage of apparatus. Number two precaution, you need not to use a blunt pencil. Your pencil needs to be very, very sharp so that you get, uh, you get neat traces. So these are the two precautions that you must take. Uh, the, the, the third one is uh, uh, these two, these two incident pins here must be four cm apart. I ensured the the incident pin. This for this first pins here. The the pins on the incident ray, they must be four cm apart. It's another precaution. Now the last thing you need to know is this. Very very important. On the D day, you will have each student. We need to have five of these. It means you are going to do these traces on five sheets separate. You need to write your candidate number, your name, your candidate number, and center number, and the number of the experiment, experiment one. Candidate name, Mr. Okuma Benjamin. Candidate number, you write it there on each of the sheets. And you must ensure that there are no much, there are just four holes on this paper. Hole for pin one, hole for pin two, pin three, pin four. Don't puncture this paper with too much holes. And then you have to attach every traces to your answer booklet. Very, very important. For this guy, I've already spoken much about this guy. For this guy, if they are going to use this guy, this is what you expect on the DD. This is the equation to find the refractive index for this guy. I forgot something here. Snell's law. This is refraction of light through glasses. So you need to study about Snell's law as well. So this guy, this is how the graph looks like. They were asked to put the graph of the angle of deviation against the angle of incidence. And then you have to find the minimum deviation. So this DM stands for this. And then the A stands for the size of the glass. For this are the equilateral triangle 60, 60, 60. So you put your 60 here. And then at the end you find your refractive index. And then this is how your graph will look like. Just as I said here, the precautions, very, very important. Uh, the traces, I have videos on all of this. This is another experiment that you may be expecting. This equation is exclusive for this particular guy here. This is rectangular glass block. I have done a video on how to find the refractive index of this guy. See in the description below. And then that video is just what happens in the real experiment is 
what I did in that video, you do it like five times or six times. That is just experiment. So for this guy, this is SNES law, they ask this SNES law to do some calculations on refraction of light through this area of that is coming from air to glass media. Find the speed. I have video on all of that in the description. So this is uh, sin r is equal to refracting this times sin r looks like y is equal to mx a straight line equation. So if you are to do it, do with this guy, they may ask to plot a graph of this against this or sin inverse against the other one. So this is just the, the brief overview for optics experiments. I wish you guys success in your experiments this year. Straight A's. Please don't cheat. Distance yourself from examination malpractice. Pray to God and follow my lead and you will have a, a cause to rejoice. Next up, the video on question number one, mechanics.